This video shows 3D drive-throughs of the alignment examples from Section 3 of AASHTO's 6th edition of the commonly used A Policy on Geometric Design of Highways and Streets, also known as the Green Book. These simulations will allow you to better visualize the desirable and undesirable road features in the examples. Figure A shows local dips and crests in an otherwise constant grade. It is best to just use a constant grade. Figure B shows small bumps in the grade, which should be avoided. Figure C is similar to A in that there are dips in an otherwise constant grade, but there is also a horizontal curve before the slope which allows the driver to see the unappealing cross-section of upcoming road. Figure D is a horizontal S-curve superimposed on a vertical ridge. The tangent between the horizontal curves is too short and the second horizontal turn occurs just after cresting the vertical curve. The combination of the horizontal turn and the vertical turn upwards in figure E creates foreshortening that makes the turn appear sharper than it is. The horizontal and vertical curves in figure F align, creating a satisfactory appearance and design. The horizontal and vertical curves in figure G oppose each other, which also creates a satisfactory appearance and design. Figure H illustrates that curves with a large radius are more desirable than a small radius, even if it is not required for the design speed. The first example here shows a small radius and the second example shows a larger radius. Figure I is similar to figure G, where vertical and horizontal curves oppose each other except the curves are repeated, creating a pleasing 3D S-curve effect. Figure J softens a long tangent between horizontal curves with a vertical curve. Figure K shows a poor alignment of horizontal and vertical curves. The maximums and minimums of the curves do not match up exactly. Figure L shows that, similar to figure H, it is better to have two long curves with a short tangent rather than two short curves with a long tangent in between. The first example here shows the short curves with a long tangent and the second example shows two soft curves with a short tangent.
Figure M shows that a curve that starts in a vertical dip in the road is undesirable because the start of the curve is hidden from the driver as they approach. Figure N explains that you do not want to design a road with too many vertical or horizontal curves visible at once. Two horizontal brakes or three vertical brakes are the maximum of what is desirable.